The two South Africans abducted in Yemen on Monday are still being held by captors. Newspapers have identified them as Bloemfontein couple Pierre and Yolandi Korki. They were abducted outside a hotel by unidentified gunmen in the city of Taiz. Their whereabouts are unknown. The Korkis moved to Yemen four years ago to teach English. Diplomats are trying to negotiate their release. Assalamu alaikum al-Qaeda, rahmatullah wa barakatuh. My name is Yolandi Koki. I was held by al-Qaeda in Yemen and was unconditionally released on 10 January this year. Thank you al-Qaeda for treating us with kindness and respect. On this evening of this deadline given by you, I am again pleading for you, with you to please release my husband Pierre. Pierre is an innocent and honest person. We serve the poor people through his teaching. My two children and I miss him terribly. He was just an ordinary man from South Africa. Pierre Conkey's wife, Yolande, was herself kidnapped along with her husband in May last year. She was released in January. And here we can hear her recently making a personal appeal to the kidnappers to also release her husband. If we could send him one message, it would be, you are deeply loved, Pierre, and we are so proud of you. Hold on. Hold on, my beloved. The hour of your release will come. It was the second time U.S. Special Forces tried to rescue American Luke Summers. He died alongside South African Pierre Corky, who was expected to be released in the coming days. U.S. officials say they were shot by their captors, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, during the raid in the Shabwa province in the southeast of Yemen. As one of uh, my sources told me, they uh, started to kill him and they tried to escape with him, but uh, the operation was uh, very strong and uh, they were surrounded. So they, they, they killed him. According to media reports, the hostages were wounded but alive when they were evacuated on an osprey like this one. One died en route. The other reportedly died on the operating table aboard the USS Macon Island. U.S. President Barack Obama condemned it as barbaric, his vice president blasting it as a despicable crime. Two men held captive by al-Qaeda in Yemen killed during a failed rescue attempt.